Thank you, Louise. Thank you for retaliating against the establishment and sticking it to them through your words and to the church giving voice to the often forgotten. I just wanted to say that. Hey, and now we'll have our, our last performer for the evening, um, <clears throat> Mr. David Wells. Uh, David Wells uh, is actually a friend of mine. And he's a spoken word artist, and I asked him to come here this evening uh, because, uh, as mentioned, you know, younger people they don't really they don't really read a lot of books. You know, I hate to say that. And so the people are channeling into different forms, into new media, and to also through different words through spoken art. And we're talking about rap and through poetry, and so uh, David will be performing this evening. Uh, his own uh, rap version. I'll just read his bio. David Wells was born in Bassano, Alberta, and raised in Sixaga by his grandparents Edith and George Medicine Shield and his aunties Polly and Georgette, due to the loss of his mother at a very young age. David really began writing and making music at age 19. It is just in these recent years that he has worked really hard and gotten serious about his music. His greatest influences were his great, his late grandmother Edith. David's other musical influences come from other artists such as Tupac, Bun B, Leroy Winter, and numerous others. He's also done another performance recently at the Six of Our Youth Awareness Week and has made it a CD called Native Revolution and is also re releasing a mixtape this evening if you're interested. So I'd like to welcome up Mr. David Wells. Good evening, y'all. I made this song, it's uh, called Eternal Pain. Um, I made it for uh, Native residential schools and all this other, like it just came to me. I did a report this year in school and the song just came to me. So. This one goes out to all the tribes that put up with all the lies They try to take all the lies but they can't take away from native pride Cut our hearts with all knives and don't you think we paid the price? Soon we'll see the light This goes out to my beloved tribes Let me give you some education what natives call native separation Started back a few generations with the creation of all these reservations. The Canadian government was really hating the shit they did was so degraded. I'm really surprised that some of us made it. It was genocide for all us natives. It began with all those residential schools. To lose our culture was the only rule. With the physical and sexual abuse, the ones that survived, this one's for you. All they educate is memories of pain to inflict more day. Change our names, they locked our culture with all the chains that they fought back the Calvary King. So they were quick to react. They made up something called the Indian Act. They said everything would be intact, but now in days they're taking it back. Man, this shit just eats on me. I wanna rise up, make my people free. But the government is seen with all this greed. The great spirit keep looking after my greed. This one grows out to all the tribes that Put up with all the lies they try to take all the lies, but they can't take away from native pride. Cut our hearts with all knives, and don't you think we paid the price? Soon we'll see the light. This goes out to my beloved tribe. We didn't know what they were after. Money and greed just create disasters. That's why so many hearts are fractured. They lied to us to get what they're after. Now in days I find it strange with people on the res with nothing to gain. In the city where it is all the same, where the cops think we're all insane. But we got to watch for the crazy ones that keep dipping into the reserve funds. Where all the council kids have all the fun and the families can't afford a single crumb. Man, the government says making a change, but show me, yeah, show me, man. Things never gonna change with this shit. You know it's about, all about turning pain. Yeah, well, that was it. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you. 
also like to thank you back to Annie. It's her birthday. again for coming out and supporting the EPOE, the Aboriginal Writers Gathering, and making it such a great success. We'd like to thank all of our, our distinguished authors, all of our local authors, our volunteers, and the committee that helped put this event together and make it such a great success. Um, tonight we felt the emotions of pride reviving colonial, removing colonial cloaks, revealing an elk tooth of beauty. Imagined encountering an old warrior advisor woman, laughed to poetry, powerful painting the humor of Indian life, remembered what it was like to be read, and felt what it was like to channel that angry spirit against the oppressors of the old. I'd just like to thank you again and remember how important it is to support Indigenous writers, Indigenous authors, filmmakers, singers, songwriters, and uh, stress the importance of attending events like this and getting other people out there to uh, not only purchase the material but to support our, our, our future and our youth. Thank you very much.